All right, hi again, this is Stephanie Victoria with Healthcare EDU. You could check the links on the bottom. We are doing the CNA skills, and this skill we're doing is transferring a patient out of bed to the wheelchair using the pivot technique, okay? This is uh, December 2021. These are skills as listed with Prometrics. Again, we are in the state of Massachusetts so that you can be aware. What we're going to bring into the room, we're going to bring in a wheelchair, a patient robe, which I'll use a Johnny as a robe, a bath blanket, a transfer belt, and if your evaluator hasn't set up uh, Purell and gloves in the room, I usually bring those in so I don't have an issue doing hand hygiene. I have assumed that I've already hand washed. As we know, that's the first skill that we do. I've put my gloves on and I'm ready to start the skill. If you haven't watched my hand hygiene video, hand washing video, go check that out, okay? So I'm actually gonna go in with my supplies. So again, robe, wheelchair, bath blanket for the end. I'm gonna go with transfer belt, gloves, Purell, and then also non-skid socks, which I don't have, will mimic that, okay? I'm going to enter the room. Now we are actually at the school here. So we have um, this privacy curtain is going to be open. And so I'll say when to close it so that my students can see. So I'm gonna knock on the door. Okay, and I'm going to draw the curtain closed for privacy. Okay, but again, in this video, it's open so that my students can see. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm your CNA today. I'm going to help transfer you from bed to wheelchair. Okay, can I see your two patient identifiers? Notice I don't touch the patient yet because I like to take care of all objects first. So what you can actually do and what you need to do first is you need to set up the wheelchair. The wheelchair needs to be at the head of the bed as close as possible because this is a pivot technique. Now, also for safety, you need to make sure that the wheelchair locks. This skill has a lot of safety components. Make sure that the wheelchair locks. We also have to make sure that the footrests are out of our way so it's not a tripping hazard for the patient. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take my items put on the bedside table. Now, a couple of things so that you're aware. If your space is tight, you can actually take off the footrest. So I have locked my wheelchair, which is number one and most um, important. And I'm gonna bring this close by so I can just reach my items and I will talk to you about our next steps. So you yourself, make sure you don't trip over it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, the bed in this position doesn't necessarily raise for body mechanics. It actually lowers depending on how tall your patient is because you need to sit them up and for their feet to touch the ground, okay? So I think given her height, I think, this might be an actual good height and we will see. So for this skill, I'm going to show you how to sit a patient up. They can hold on to the side rail, which is an assist device. I actually like to transfer my patients with the side rail down. So I'm going to lower the side rail. Um, and so I'll be able to sit her up better. That's just how I maneuver. But again, you can keep it up, have them reach with one arm, but I'm going to lower it. Okay, my side wheel's down. I'm just gonna move this sheet, all right? Um, I'm gonna fan fold, put the sheet off to the side. We never shake our sheets. And what I do here is I actually put my non-skid socks, all right, if you had it, I put my non-skid socks on here. You can put it on when she sits down, but that point most people forget. So I tell my students to put it on while she's in bed here, okay? So what I would do, you could hand hygiene again, okay? So hand hygiene, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Hand hygiene, I don't step away from the bed because remember, I haven't done anything with the patient yet. So you could always hand hygiene again. You could actually change it or you can mimic it. It depends on what your evaluator would like. 
because now I'm going to engage with the patient. My gloves are very sticky today because I've hand hygiene several times. Okay. So there's a way to sit a patient up. I scoop behind, she's already in a sitting position, one arm behind her neck, and I go like this and I have the patient help me. All right, so on the count of three, I'm gonna sit you up. One, two, three. Okay, now remember, just sit right there. Do you feel dizzy at all? No. Okay, this is the dangling method. She has to say that she doesn't feel dizzy. If your patient in real life felt dizzy, you could just do that C method and put them right back in bed. So they need to dangle for about two minutes by the time you put your robe and your transfer belt on. So notice I have not left her side, and this is why I say put the non-skid socks on while she's in bed. I'm gonna put a robe on, okay? Good. All right, dear. And now the transfer belt. There'll be another video with a more, but this is the transfer belt here. The belt buckle has to end up off to the side, okay? So let's put this on. Make sure it's not kinked in the back. I'm gonna wrap the belt. And again, with this exercise, always be mindful of where you are standing in relation to the wheelchair, because in real life, I've almost tripped over a wheelchair, patients have almost tripped over it. Um, so that's why you just wanna take your time and not rush. So the transfer belt is not a tourniquet, it's just a little snug um, so that you can still get your hands through. Okay, so now the buckle's off to the side. So I'm gonna have you come a little closer. Can you see me here? There's a way we need to tell the patient what we're going to do. Hi, miss, I'm going to have you on the count of three, push up with your hands, okay? And I'm gonna be right here so you don't fall. Now with the pivoting technique, the wheelchair has to be really close, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you pivot and how you stand. When the patient stands, she actually has to reach with this arm, left arm, I'll have you raise your left arm so the audience can see, and reach over to that uh, armrest, okay? And I'll guide you. So you need to tell the patient what you're gonna do. So miss, what I'm gonna do, on the count of three, we're gonna stand, you're gonna reach with the arm and I'm gonna actually turn and place you onto the wheelchair, okay? Let me see if I get this a little closer. Okay, so I'm gonna show you and try to do it with the footrest there. Um, in your skills, if you're uncomfortable, you could actually take the footrest off, okay? Okay, so let's work this out here. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, so I'm real close. Again, we're gonna be real close, okay? All right, I'm gonna lock knee to knee, okay? And I'm gonna bend. Remember your body mechanics is not your back. You actually squat in a knee fashion and you're gonna give her a countdown. With this skill, it's very important to talk your patient through it, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Push up with your arms, good. Reach with that arm. Can you come on this side, can you see? Reach with that arm, okay, and twist. Reach back, do you feel it with the back of your legs? Okay, reach back with the other arm. Is it far, reach back, look where you're going, and we're gonna guide you down. One, two, three. Okay, so that is a pivot motion, so what you can do, let me see how mine actually comes off. I'll show you a video with it coming off. So it needs to, sometimes they can come off and they can turn out. Hold on. I'll figure it out. All right, so let's finish off this skill. So then what you will do is get the patient's foot into it as comfortable. I'm gonna lift up, there you go. I'm unlocking the brakes, giving yourself some space. Always break, so wherever destination you're bringing her to, the wheelchair has to be locked. Okay, 
Now, the wheelchair is locked. I'm going to take the transfer belt off. You want to stay with your robe on? Yeah. Okay. The patient has the robe on. I'm going to give her a bath blanket. Okay. And so I'm going to exit. So she has her bath blanket. She's in whatever destination. Say she was still in the room or if she goes to the cafeteria or wherever, she always needs her call light in order to call a patient, uh, call for help. So she has her call light. I've left her with a bath blanket on for uh, dignity and respect. Her wheelchair is locked for safety. I'm going to exit the room, okay? Call us if you need us. I'm gonna leave the room hand hygiene, okay? Done.